All right, for those asking how I got my AR30 plumbing setup. So I got a three quarter inch hose connected to my buffer tank. So as you can see, let's follow it, okay? So I got my three quarter inch banjo valve with the filter. It comes in this way, straight to the water supply. Now I got my soap line. Let's follow the soap line. Now this one is a special uh, system I got from Midwest. So the soap valve, either or, it can go on this side or this side. But I got my soap line going to the top right there. Now this is where a lot of people get confused right here. This is a Midwest auto rinse module. So what I have here is right here. All right, right here. So I got my bleach tank A or B, A and B. And then from here, I actually got this line connected here. So I got a drop stick going all the way down, supplying my rinse line. So this is my water here, buffer tank, drop stick. And then this right here is my chemical. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. So my chem line, ideally it's supposed to go here. And there's times where when I'm done with my chemical line, I got this teed off to that same line that supplies here. So I tee it off, I'll switch this valve so I could rinse this line right here. Clear this line full of bleach. So now, as you can see, you already know where my bleach is coming from. It's coming from there. You know where my soap is coming from. That way. As it comes out, when you do your ratios, 100%. Three or six percent then you do your bleach right here one right you make those ratio adjustments now from there i got a three quarter inch or sorry a one inch suction valve suction hose so i got my one inch hose going to my pump suction boom now whenever i let off the trigger it's got a bypass so you got a 25 foot bypass hose that just circulates right now make sure you prime that so whenever you're priming it, you let go of the trigger, let water flow through that bypass line. Sometimes if your bypass line is empty, then you're not really priming. So you got a bunch of air in that hose. So, you know, throttle this, open, close, get some of that water through that bypass line, okay? So as it goes in through that bypass line, it comes back this direction into this whole loop. All right, so from there, I have this hose where I just, like I said, it's my wash hose or drain hose. And then from there, I got this PEX that Heath Phelps installed for me. It's a three, it's a half inch PEX pipe expansion. And it's a Upanor fitting that you use an expansion thing and it clamps in pretty well. So and if you have any more questions, hopefully that's easy enough. Now, if you're having a hard time priming it, like I said, you have, you have a good chance just probably putting a water hose through the, the pump system and just kind of flow through there. But the biggest thing is making sure you prime some of that air out of this hose, bypass hose.